In part two of this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at the ODC file generated by Excel um, when we established our, our data connection in the previous, in part one of this video. In order to access this file, we simply open it in Notepad, and you'll see it's a fairly complicated XML file which specifies the connection string and the um, and the SQL command string that we want to issue. Um, if we go down here uh, partway through the file, we can see there's a WHERE statement, a WHERE clause. And the WHERE clause shows that we go from, this is our original query, which was all the data on February 20th. Um, our, when we changed it to um, the February 15th and 16th query, uh, that that query was saved in the Excel workbook, but it was not saved in the ODC file. That was that warning that we saw. So if we want to go right to the source and and modify the query in the ODC file, we just have to open the, this text file, this XML file, and we can let's let's say in this case we want to um, we want to grab all the data for the first half of February 15th. So we would go to 15 at midnight greater than midnight so it'll start at 12.01 a.m. and then we want to say less than or equal to the 15th at 12 o'clock noon and we'll save this file and close it now uh, one good, one nice feature of the ODC files is that if you double click them, they're going to open by default in Excel. We can trust it, so we can say enable. Now it's opening up, running the query in Excel. And uh, again, we would expect to see the first half of, of uh, the data on February 15th. So let's just verify that. Yep, it ends at noon, so we're good there. Now, if you're having trouble or you're, or you're not comfortable modifying the ODC file directly, what I would recommend doing instead is you could always um, see we could start up a new workbook, go to the data tab, and you could just start over and redo do another uh, query using the um, using the Microsoft Query application. Actually, the better way to do that in this case, if you want a starting point, is to double click on the ODC file, open it up in Excel, and then you can modify it by going to Properties in External Table Data, click on Properties again, and then on the Definition tab at the bottom it says Edit Query, so that will actually open up, so you can see Waiting for Data to be Returned from Microsoft Query. So here we're back again to the uh, to this more user-friendly front end instead of modifying the ODC file um, directly. Okay, that concludes what I wanted to show you today. Let me just close out of everything here. Um, so to summarize, in this video I showed you how to import a .dat file into Excel, and then we proceeded to treat that that Excel repository as a quasi database that can be queried from other Excel files. I hope you learned something useful and thanks for watching. And if you're interested in designing and installing a Campbell Scientific Data Acquisition System on your residential or light commercial building project and you need some assistance, please call or text me, Mike Wasmer, at 303-638-2450 or leave your contact information in the comments section. Thanks again for watching.